20 years after um, Hong Kong changed from being uh, governed at arm's length from London to uh, Chinese sovereignty, it still remains one of the freest and most successful cities in Asia. Now, is that because of the guarantees made by Britain and China to Hong Kong? Not really. It's really because of the extent to which people in Hong Kong have a profound sense um, of what it means or should mean to be a citizen of a great city. It doesn't make them less Chinese, but it does make them understand the relationship between pluralism, the rule of law, uh, freedom of speech, and all those bits of the software of democracy and uh, long-term prosperity. China in the last few years has been rowing back on the promises it made to Hong Kong. Uh, it's been increasing its pressure on Hong Kong's windpipe. Um, it's been, frankly, breaching both the spirit and the letter of the treaty it signed with Britain for 50 years after 1997. It's done that by attacking the judiciary, it's done it by uh, rolling back attempts to make Hong Kong more democratic. It's done it by intervening in court cases, by abducting people from Hong Kong's streets, uh, by a, a rather insidious pressure on the autonomy of education uh, and on civil society. And its office in Hong Kong has increasingly tried to play a part in the running of the city. I think it's very important that the whole world makes clear to China, not just Britain, which has a particular role, but the whole world makes clear to China that if they want to show that we can trust them in the 21st century, then Hong Kong is a very good place to start.